having another tea and I also have some of my thyme water my thyme and lemon water so I'm gonna have that as well at some point this morning okay guys so today I decided I'm gonna make a little cake but I am making it in the microwave I know that sounds really gross uh, or maybe normal to some of you guys um, but I just wanted to be able to make something quick and easy and I don't have to rely on the oven to do it so I decided I'm going to try to do a kind of like a mug cake, but it's going to be a little bit bigger. So maybe like two servings or a larger serving so you can have like half now and then half later. Um, but yeah, I have like this dish, this baking dish that I love. I have two of them. I got them at a thrift store for super cheap um, many years ago. And I'm just going to try to make it in here because it is a really sturdy little pot um, and it, you can put it in the microwave. So, and also the non-stick, hopefully with the ceramic, it will be fine and it won't stick so I don't have to use any oil. So very simple ingredients, a very staple ingredients is what I wanted to use. And I have a craving for carrot cake and all the carrot cakes that like I can buy are loaded with oil. Um, they are absolutely delicious. There's one from Sweets from the Earth. Oh my gosh, like the most amazing cake ever, but I don't need all those calories. They use like a cashew cream cheese in it and I just want something plain, um, you know, nothing that's too fussy and lower in calories. So I'm going to try to make my own and then I thought, yeah, let's try to do it in the microwave so that if I'm in a real pinch, I can actually make it really quickly in the microwave. Let's put it all together. So I'm going to be using obviously the carrot that's shredded um, and then I have some brown rice flour. So half a cup of that. I'm going to use um, six tablespoons of this carrot mixture and then I have half a cup of any plant-based milk that you have. I'm using almond unsweetened because that's what I have um, and then I have so the sugar is coconut sugar you can use whatever sugar you have on hand that's what I have right now and it's really at the bottom of the container so it I would say like three to four tablespoons of the sugar of choice but you can decrease that if you want to. And then cinnamon, so at least like a teaspoon of cinnamon is what I would put in, but I'm just eyeballing it, so you decide on how much you want. Also, mine is like pure organic cinnamon, so it is quite strong, so I'm not sure how strong yours is. Baking powder, we're also gonna add a little bit of that in, and a dash of the vanilla extract. This vanilla extract has alcohol in it. I will try to look for an alcohol-free version at some point, but I think it's gonna be difficult where I live. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm not gonna waste this. I'm going to use it up, and then I'm gonna to try to find an alcohol-free version um, just to keep it even healthier. But let's see, uh, let's see what I can find. Uh, maybe Whole Foods has something like that. I'm not quite sure. So yeah, we'll see. So as far as the vanilla extract goes, I'm just putting a dash and then I'm putting in half of a teaspoon of the baking powder. This is the milk that I have right now. It's just the plain Costco almond original. And then applesauce is what I'm using um, in replacement of oil because usually cakes call for oil. It gives it that nice moisture and deliciousness, um, but I'm not down for all the extra calories. So I think the applesauce gives it a nice flavor as well and gives it that moisture. So I'm going to sub the oil that I would normally put in a recipe uh, back in the day with applesauce and it seems to work. It's worked for years uh, substituting stuff like this. So yeah, I'm going to mix everything in one bowl and then I'm going to transfer it into that baking dish and then we're going to throw it into the microwave for two minutes and see how it goes. So I actually have four tablespoons of the applesauce, so it's not quite a third of a cup. But that's what I put it inside. And again, this is going to be my oil substitute. half of a cup of the milk of choice. 
And then I'm going to add in my carrot mixture. I'm just scraping up the last little bits on my plate. Then I have my sugar. Cinnamon. Splash of vanilla. Half of a cup of a brown rice flour. Okay, and then I'm also going to add one teaspoon of the baking powder. Give that a little mix. Transferring everything. So now it is all ready to go. I'm going to pop it into the microwave. The middle is a little bit gooey still, but the rest is all cooked through really well. I don't want to overcook it, so I'm just going to allow it to sit in here and fully cook a little bit longer because the heat of the bowl, and then it should be fine. But it smells amazing, smells like cinnamon, deliciousness, um, and like I said, don't overcook it because then it will be just dry and gross. Like you want some of that moisture, so it's better to just allow it to sit and cool off of it. It will continue to cook for a little bit in your little dish or cup, whatever you make. So it is still super duper hot. It is so, so yummy and delicious and really quick and easy. Um, like I said, you know, the microwave might not be ideal for most people and even not for myself, but I wanted to try to make something that I can make in a pinch. If somebody's coming over, just something really delicious or if we're having like a movie night, something that's sweet and delicious, but still healthy. So I wanted to keep it really simple ingredients and healthy ingredients. And yeah, this is it. This is the delicious little cake. Okay, so... When you cut it, like I said, it has a little bit of that gooeyness. It's also the brown sugar that's getting nice and gooey, but the texture is really nice and I can see the carrots, the shredded carrots coming through. It smells like cinnamon, it smells like deliciousness. You could put nutmeg too if you wanted to, that would be a really nice addition. Um, but I just added the cinnamon because I was just in a hurry and I forgot to add the nutmeg, but nutmeg would be a really awesome addition. So if you have it, use it or even like a pumpkin spice that has all everything kind of mixed together. That would be really, really nice. 
But yeah, this is delicious. Let's see, let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. And I added the four tablespoons of sugar because it's coconut sugar, it's not overly sweet. You could add other different types of sugar, so you're gonna have to just play around with it and see how sweet you want it. But this is perfect for me, it's really, really delicious. So yeah, this is definitely a winner. Um, I will be making this again. And this is a really large serving, as you can see, because I want to use this dish. I don't want it to stick. I want it to be really easy to get out and cook really nicely, so I decided to use this dish. If you wanted to use a um, mug, then just you know make two mugs, is what I would suggest. And that way you have two servings separated. Um, and if you have any kind of little baking dish that you can put in the microwave, then I think that this is the best bet because you can even eat half and then store the rest, no big deal. Or put, you know, the rest because it's going to come out really easy because of the fact that it's a ceramic dish. You can add it to a container in the fridge and eat it for tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, you're good to go. And these are all really easy ingredients that everyone has at home. Mm. It smells so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh my god, so good. I'm going to share this. So it's probably going to be all gone for today, but um... This is definitely a hit. So if you have people coming over and you want to make something quick and easy, this is a really good recipe because you can just cut it up, put it on a plate and you are good to go. And it really feels like you baked it in the oven, but it was made in the microwave. If you wanted to and you're not, you know, too scared of adding extra calories, you could make like a cashew uh, cream cheese on top. You could drizzle with just a little bit of maple sugar um, and put like some warm milk in it and kind of make it like a nice uh, topping. That would be really delicious with maple and maybe a little bit of cinnamon. I mean, the options are endless, but I am just gonna eat it like this because this is perfect. So eating it like this is perfect for me. I really like it, it you know, um, hits the spot and I don't need anything extra on top, but if you want to, you can go ahead or if you're serving it for somebody and you wanna jazz it up, then go for it. But this is definitely a hit. This is gonna be a keeper. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay guys, so I talked about the merch a while back and how I had a sweater that came out really messed up. Uh, they are replacing it, so I'm really happy with that and they don't know what exactly went wrong. But they sent me the shirt and the shirt is perfect. The lettering is perfect. I love how long the sleeves are. They actually fit my long arms. Oh my gosh. Um, you guys know my drama with not having sleeves that are long enough. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing a voiceover because I had so much noise in the background that this seems to be the best way. But yeah, so I'm really happy with it. This is like a pale blue. I really like all the colors and the quality is great. I have washed this stuff over and over and it is perfectly fine. I think that sweater was a one-off. And so yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I'm just wearing my Powered by Plants shirt and this comes in a variety of colors. Okay, so this is the shirt that I'm wearing in this clip. Super comfy and I really, really love the color. I love this pale blue. So if you wanted to take a peek at the shop, I really appreciate it. Any sales go directly to the channel and helping propel the channel forward so that I'm able to buy high quality foods and make really, really good recipes, really good quality recipes for all of us to enjoy and keeping our health as our number one priority. So I appreciate you popping in there and again any sales I truly appreciate it but don't feel pressured to do so. It's just if you can it is a high quality item and you will wear it for many years and I really like it. Like I love the font that I picked. I really really love it and I've been wearing all of this stuff over and over again and like I said I have washed it and I haven't had any issues going forward with any other products. So thank you so much for being here. Stay healthy, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.